guys, Becky here with a teacher training tip. You have your curriculum, so now what? Um, a few tips for me on how to use this book. The first one is take it home. This is your book. Um, I would prefer that you have it at home so that you can fully prepare and be ready to serve well on Sunday morning. Um, if you need to, if it needs to live in your car or you need to leave it at church because you would forget it every single time, I understand, but this is a much more effective tool if you have it in your hand and as a resource at home. So take it home is my first tip. Um, if you look inside your book at the beginning, there's a page where you can add the dates for the lessons that we'll be studying. I will um, try to give you a batch of those at a time uh, so that you can kind of see what's coming up and know which lesson you're preparing for when it's your turn to teach. The second tip is um, use your leader Bible study. Read this early in the week. This is like the second page of every lesson, has this uh, little devotional, and on the next page, a summary of the Bible story. I would encourage you to open your Bible and read this passage, and then follow it up with the summary that they give. They do offer more details for older kids, less for like the preschool level, um, but use that leader Bible study and opening your Bible to the Bible passage to prepare early in the week, maybe Sunday afternoon or Monday morning, and then be prayerful and watch how God is going to teach you about this story and teach you um, what he's uh, going to be teaching us together in Sun Chasers on Sunday morning. Um, I think you'll be amazed by how um, he can work and teach us about those things midweek when we have prepared early in the week. The next tip is um, just the fact that you need to make sure you're checking on the link on Sun Chasers News to look for the details on how you'll be using the curriculum on Sunday morning. So starting on the um, third or fourth page with Introduce the Story, um, you'll see the actual lesson material that you'll be presenting on Sunday morning. And so there is not time for all of the activities that they um, offer us in this book. Um, and that is why I go through and choose the activities that I think we have time for, that I think will work well in our facility, um, the activities that I'm gonna provide supplies to you for, and that will all be on a document that's linked on the Sun Chasers News. So look for that all the way at the bottom. There'll be three different links, for one for preschool, one for young elementary, which is fives and K, first grade and second grade, and one for older elementary, which would be third, fourth grade, and fifth grade. And so that will tell you exactly which activities to look for, and in your book is where you will read all the details on the how-to of those activities. Uh, my next tip, you'll notice that my book is highlighted in some portions, and so my tip to you is highlight, make notes, make this book your own. Uh, yes, we will recycle these when we're all finished with a book so that we can either pass the curriculum along or use it again but by all means make notes in here and um, make it your own so that you're prepared for Sunday morning so I hope that those tips help you get started don't hesitate to ask any question chances are if you have the question then somebody else probably does too um, so anyway have a great week and thank you for serving